As your child's growing, it's really important for your child to move their body, even if your child has special needs. When a child doesn't have the opportunity to move and play, they often develop behavior problems. I would suggest a child has that opportunity to move around at least three times a day. Even if you don't have access to a playground and you have a small apartment, you can still have fun with your child by playing inside. No matter where you're living or what the weather is, even if you don't have a playground, we're gonna show you some options that you can play with your child. In the kitchen, you can play with cans. Depending how much energy your child has, you could have them fill a bag with cans, or you could have them pull it around the kitchen. There are lots of things you can do with cans. You could even make an obstacle course. You could have them jump over it, swallow them through it, or lift them as weights. <laughs> Having your child helping you with laundry is a great way to have them move their bodies. Here are some fun ways to move with your kid. There are jumping jacks, windmills, crawling on the ground, and army crawling. Another option would be doing wheelbarrows with your child. You and your child can think of new ways to move that you would enjoy as well. Another idea would be acting out a story. And the wolf said, I'll hop and I'll hop and I'll blow your house down. Are dancing to music, playing Simon Says, building forts with your child, using pillows and blankets, and then they can crawl in and out of it. Some children really enjoy tickles or being squeezed. Some children like deep pressure. Sofa pillows are a great and safe option. It's also important to support your child's head when you do this on the couch. It's really important for your child to move their body at least three times a day. It helps them control themselves and get through the day much easier. And it can even be fun for them to do with their families for you to think of things to do together. 